as you have changes in the knee same thing can also happen in the hip hip joint is like a ball and socket joint and this is the hemi pelvis this is the cup and the model is showing an artificial head and the neck now what are the indication for the total hip replacement same as for the knee if you have pain affecting your life rest pain if you have stiffness deformity those are the indications what are the options well for hip for early osteoarthritis we can do arthroscopic debridement but that surgery need a lot of experience only few people do that kind of procedure long term solution is total hip replacement and in this either we do with the cement or without the cement usually if the patient is young like before 65 year of age and the bone quality is good demand is more then we try to go with cementless total hip replacement and the advantage is you have in cementless hip the fixation come because of the growth of bone over the implant so the revision is easy in cementless hip but in cemented hip you use cement usually when the patient is more than 65 poor quality of the bone is there like osteoporosis osteopenia or functional demand is low the problem with the cemented hip the chances of loosening are there although results have been better at some center but they are not same in all the hand so in hip what we do we remove the original head and the neck and then we make a hole in the canal of the thigh bone we keep on rimming till we get the close contact with the canal we put a artificial stem then we connect it with a artificial femoral head and we similarly we put a cup inside the metallic cup over here if the stability is good we don't need any screw if the stability is poor we fix with the screw over the cup again there is a plastic liner and over that liner and inside the cup the head moves now in the market there are different uh, material or the bearing are there previously the metal on metal was there with large size head and it was believed that the large size head give more stability better range of motion but now for the last 7 to 8 years more and more research showed that there were more chances of some complication like the metal is the really metal line are released from the prosthesis or the implant so there is increased level of metal line in the blood and in the urine there is a risk of uh, theoretical risk of uh, cancer although it's not proven it also sometimes lead to the local blackening of the tissue sometimes the cyst formation so because of this metal on metal is almost now obsolete from the market and the current trend is to go for a ceramic head with a poly which is called ceramic and poly or metal and moly metal on poly we use a large head diameter 36 because it gives better stability and the range of motion there are complication for fracturing the femur when you are rimming the canal or when you are putting the implant there are complication of infection in stability as you see in total knee usually if when you are doing cementless hip for first 6 to 8 week we don't allow full weight bearing we allow first few weeks initially partial weight bearing and around 6 to 8 week when the bone grows over the implant fixation is better then we allow full, full weight bearing complication are long term complication aseptic loosening 
and sometimes there may be periprosthetic fractures 